In this video, we are going to look at neurodynamic techniques for the lower limb. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to Physio Tutors. A lot of primary studies and systematic reviews have been conducted on the effectiveness of neural mobilization of the upper limbs, and we have made a video demonstrating simple neurodynamic techniques. Two recent systematic reviews by Neto et al. and Basson et al. from 2017 have investigated the effectiveness of neural mobilization in the treatment of low back pain patients. While the meta-analysis revealed significant changes in pain when comparing neural mobilizations to control interventions, this change remains just below the minimally clinically important difference and most studies were at a high risk of bias. So what kind of neurodynamic techniques were used? Most of the studies employed a neural mobilization in the slump or straight leg raise position, which was also done by the patients as part of their home exercise program. As in our video on upper limb neurodynamics, we are going to illustrate the concept of sliders and tensioners with the help of an elastic tube that we are going to span from the cervical spine down to the foot. For the slump slider, adopt a slumping position. Then to slide the neural tissue distally, extend the knee, dorsiflex the ankle and extend the neck. And then to bring the neural tissue proximally, plantar flex the ankle, flex the knee and flex the neck. So the sliding motion looks something like this. For a slump tensioner, the patient starts in an upright sitting position. And then to tension the entire neural tissue, the patient slumps, extends the knee, dorsiflexes the ankle and flexes the neck. So the whole tensioner looks something like this. For the straight leg raise slider, the patient is in supine position with the leg elevated against the wall or similar supporting surface. To slide the neural tissue distally, dorsiflex the ankle and to slide it proximally, you can flex the neck and plantar flex the foot. To do a tensioner, dorsiflex the ankle and flex the neck at the same time. A great hybrid solution can be done in standing position using a rolling chair. Place the foot on the chair and then a distal sliding technique can be done by rolling the chair away from you and while you extend the knee and dorsiflex the foot, add neck extension. And when you return to the starting position, flex the neck to slide the neural tissue proximally. This will look something like this. Both the sliders and tensioners should be adjusted to elicit a gentle stretching sensation or to evoke mild symptoms in rhythm with each oscillation. Alright, thanks again for watching this video. Check out our video where Kai demonstrates neurodynamic techniques of the upper limb right next to me. Before you leave, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and leave us a like if you enjoyed this video. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.